What is up you guys, it's Julia here today with Carly and we are here to film an updated HPU Q&A for you guys while we enjoy some Cane's french fries. French fries. Okay, so I put a question like thing on my Instagram and asked you guys to ask me any questions you may have about HPU. So we are going to answer those here. So let's get the questions up and get right into it. So we did this video. <laughs> we did this video last year around the same time and had so many questions and so I figured it would be helpful to do an updated one and answer some new questions that we've gotten from people that didn't ask the questions last year. Last time we did this, Corona wasn't a thing. Yeah. But we got so many questions, so I screenshotted them all. And yeah, let's just dive right into it. Okay. Is there a possibility of getting a full tuition scholarship? Yes. I'm, I'm on that. Yeah. I don't so pay tuition. There's a lot of people that don't, that get full scholarships. Is HPU a good school for those who want to pursue a medical career. Yeah. I believe HPU has a very good nursing, nursing program, so. I know a lot of people that are in the nursing school. Yes. They're very smart girls and guys. What's it like to live on campus? Living on campus was so fun, yeah. and it's probably like one of the best college campuses that you could it's get. Beautiful. It's right on the water. The dorms are absolutely beautiful, and it's just like such a nice sense of community. Like, it's so homey. So it's like comfortable. Yeah, exactly. It's like Zoe 101. You wake up every day and you see the ocean. You eat dinner outside at the um, cafeteria, which is called Pier 9, and you like literally sit out by the water and can watch the sunset while you eat. It's so nice. Do you get bored of the beach? Never. Absolutely never. never. What is the difference between schools in Hawaii? So the two main schools, HPU and UH, Hawaii is the university. Kind of and the University of Hawaii, the big difference between the two is HPU is a small private school and UH is a big, like, normal college campus public school. And so basically the biggest difference I would say is the size between the two schools. Yeah, our classes are a lot, lot smaller. And our dorms mm -hmm. are a lot nicer. Also, back to the other question, if you're going to go to HPU, get, go to the Aloha Tower. Is that yeah, go to the Aloha rooms? Tower dorms. dorms. Don't do Loa. I mean, you could... <laughs> But you don't have AC, so if you come from like the mainland, and you're used to having AC, I would get a lot tower. It's also just a lot nicer dorms. How did you find your roommates and your friends? So we were roommates freshman year, and we found each other through Instagram, but I think like originally through the HP Schools app. That's how I think we first found each other. Yeah, well I like, wasn't, they were all three like met each other. And then Caroline actually messaged me and was like, do you have a roommate? And then I was like, no, and she's like, do you have yours? Because I was just going to go random, but thank God I didn't. <laughs> so yeah, and then we all just got, we um, emailed and said we wanted to be together. And then we all got put together in a really nice dorm. Is the location in the city good? So where the dorms are is safe because it's like, set apart from the rest of the city and it's just right on the water. It's gated off. Yeah, and there's security everywhere so it's very safe, very protected. But if you walk a little bit down the street, you have to be careful because there's tons of homeless people everywhere and you just always make sure you walk with someone and just, yeah. And just sex like, trafficking really bad. Yeah, just ne make sure you're never alone. Like our CA used sure. to always be like, don't go alone. Like mm -hmm. there's been a lot of sex trafficking lately. <laughs> What's the hardest part about moving that far? What would you say? Um, it's hard to like, I moved by myself and so, not that yeah, like we, but none of, yeah, but also like, none of us were like friends before so you don't know when you come, but obviously you get very close to people very fast and like everyone, like all mine and my roommates, me and my roommates, we all were from far away. So like when you get homesick, you can kind of just like relate to each other. Um, I mean, it's hard to be away from like your friends and family and like everything you've ever known. Like I lived in a, same town my whole life and then I moved 5,000 miles away but you get over it because you're literally in the best place in the world and it's hard to be sad here yeah I mean you can still get sad but you can cry on the best beach in the world <laughs> are there a lot of people 
The school itself is small, so there's not that many people. It's like, I'd say probably like the size of like a normal high school, probably, right? Like the size of like a normal high school class. Like, yeah. Like not a big high school, but just like a normal. Yeah, like it's like smaller. I mean, HP is a lot like a high school. Yeah. Which is like good and bad. Not, no, okay, I take that back. Like, <laughs> it's nice to have small classes because your teachers get to know you really well. We talked about this last year. Your professors will mm -hmm. really know you and help you. And like you. help you, yeah. But also, everyone knows everyone. <laughs> no, I'll just leave it at that. How much time do you have? How much time do you get to have fun outside of class? So um, it just depends like on your major or like how much work you have. Cause and also what you prioritize. We prioritize yeah. fun. <laughs> no, we always get our work done first. No, we do. But like, say how we go to classes or like we always do homework like Monday and Tuesday. Yeah, so like I'm, all my school right now is completely online. So like on like, Tuesdays and Thursdays we'll like get our homework done or like on Monday or no like beginning of the week like you try and get everything <coughs> done so then on the weekend you like can go to the beach all three days and because no one ever has class on Friday or like some people occasionally will but most people don't have class on Friday so Fridays is like a weekend day too but yeah get your work done at the beginning of the week and then you'll have plenty of time to enjoy the weekend yeah just don't get behind yeah, and like I was saying too, it also depends on your major, like some majors are harder than others, so some people will have more work, but that's basically just we've, the sciences, we've always I kinda, think, have like a lot, other than yeah. that. We've also kind of always like, cranked out all our work in like two days, Yeah. so we have the rest of the week to have fun, mm -hmm. which is nice. <gasps> is the marine biology competitive there? Yeah, <laughs> I can't. I can't answer that. I mean, I know a lot of people do it, so maybe that makes it competitive. I don't think, I don't think it's that competitive. Yeah. I mean, you could probably get them. Yeah. Good grades. What do you think about the academic part of HPU? Do you think it's hard? I think it's the opposite of that. What's I feel like I should. <laughs> See, I know. I feel like the academics at HPU. Like, the professors are very good. They yeah. know what they're teaching, so they're very well trained. And, and they're very passionate. I think that helps. Yeah, they definitely are. And being a small school, I think that helps them be more passionate about yeah. it. Because they feel like they can connect with the yeah. students. And, and so, you, you know when they're teaching, like, that they, like, love what it's not like they're just, yeah. like, there. Which I think a lot of professors, like, don't love students. And I think our yeah. professors are really good at, like, they want to teach us. And they want us to do good. And they want us to know and be passionate about what they are. Yeah, exactly. So I think the academic part of HU is very good. Did you consider going to school at UH Manoa? I did, but they rejected me. <laughs> so, but I'm glad I chose HPU and I probably would have chose HPU anyways. So it worked out good. Um, I didn't really consider it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because I already got my, like, no tuition here. Full ride. <laughs> what? Are you studying and then also another said what are you majoring in? I still haven't declared my major, but arts and markets with a concentration in visual arts is what I think I'm going. When did you decide to study there? My senior year of high school, like the final decision was made in probably like April ish, I think. What about you? Uh, I, I was just, I just thought about this the other day. I don't really remember like what month I decided, I think it was like. No, it was actually because right everyone, after spring break. Everyone has to decide by like May 1st, I think. Yeah. So. so it was right after spring break, but I remember I took so many credit, like dual credit in high school, and I was like, I don't think I should go <laughs> unless these will all transfer over. And so I remember I was at lunch and I was on my computer and I was emailing someone and I was like, I'm thinking about going to Hawaii Pacific and then someone at my table like read it at lunch and they're like, oh my God, what? You're not gonna go to Mizzou? And I was like, what? <laughs> And then they like announced it, and then I was like, well, there's kind of no turning back now. Yeah. Although it was a school, like I knew I was probably gonna I think too. that's just so cool. Like, we had no idea who each other were, but no. we were both in the same position at the same yeah. time, like thinking about going yeah. to school. Like, that's so cool. And I also, like, when you decide if you're from, like, like she's from Rhode Island, I'm from Missouri, like, no one goes to school in Hawaii. Yeah. And then everyone's like, like no oh one. God. Like, everyone goes to the same school. And that's what makes the school so cool, too, is because you meet people from everywhere. Like, there's not one place where, like, 
the majority of people come from. I mean, like, there's a lot of people from California, but, like, I feel like it doesn't even seem like the majority of the people are from California because there's There's a lot of California and Arizona, too. Yeah, but there's people from everywhere, like, mm -hmm. countries, like, and just as many countries as just as many states, yeah. like, yeah. And it's cool, too, because, like, when you're from kind of, like, small towns like we mm -hmm. are, like, all you know is, like, each other, and then you come here and it's, like, literally the odd, like, it's just crazy, like, we know people from literally everywhere now. Yeah, and it's so cool, too, because, like, everyone comes here, comes, like, with the same intentions, Cash, with the yeah. same mindset. Yeah. Like, everyone has something in common. That's my favorite thing, is, like, everyone's so much more, like, full of, like, you get to, like, like mature. make your friends yeah. and, like, meet new people that you want to be with. Which exactly. is really cool, not like, the same that, people yeah. you were stuck with in high school. Exactly. Because you had to be there. And it's, like, people that want to do the same things as you, like, people that want to just live life and yeah. not, like, spend time doing, like, stupid things or, like, things that'll like bring you down in life, like things that'll like raise you up and get you closer to your goals. So that's like the best thing I think. I would agree. How often do you go home? Twice a year, Christmas and summer. Was it your dream school? Yes. It was like, I would say my first choice and that's why I came here. <laughs> was it your dream school? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I never knew this was a school until I applied. Yeah, I didn't either. <laughs> and then I actually saw it on a paper like sophomore year. And then I was like, whoa, that would be so cool. And then I just never thought of it mm. again. And then senior year when I started applying to all these places, I saw it again. And I was like, you know what? What's it going to hurt? And then I applied. And then I got in. And then I got a scholarship. And then now I'm sophomore year. <laughs> Suggestions for the application process and applying for housing. I got this one. Okay. <laughs> well, just like we said before, do Aloha Tower. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, Loa is like cheaper, but I think overall, the experience I think I was better. Good. Yeah, like I think I like it so much here because I dormed at Aloha Tower and met the people I did. I mean, I'm, I know there's probably really cool people at Loa too, but it's just very nice, very close to campus. I mean, if you're a marine bio major, maybe do Loa because that's where all your classes are over there. But also, um, I would suggest trying to find people to room with because I think that's what helped us a lot. Mm -hmm. It's like we were like we all like just lucked out when Caroline found me and like, like everything lined up because like we're all like very not very similar but like we just all get along very well. Like she's my best friend. <laughs> um, so just like find people like on the app. What's that called? I think it was the school's app. Yeah, they they advertise it. So just like get on that and like start searching for people. Someone said, can I go there from yeah. Hungary? Yes, you can. There's so many people from so many different countries. So many people asked what the price of tuition here is. And I think it's around like 50,000, mm -hmm. like room and board. I think it's more than that. No, I don't, like 54 or like 55, I think. I thought it was like 64. Mm -mm. It's so without any scholarships, I believe like roughly with room and board, it's like 50 thousand or something around there which is a lot of money apply for scholarships yeah she's on one i'm on one and vaspa fill out vaspa and do mm -hmm. it early like if you're uh, gonna be a freshman this upcoming year like in august you should have already had it filled out if not get on that yeah because it will help you get grants and loans are there lots of international students in hpu i'm from brazil yes there is so many international students. My boyfriend is an international student. So many of his friends are international students. So yes, yes, yes. They're the best. <laughs> They're hilarious. Are the classes far from the dorms? The classes are like a 10 minute walk straight down the street right along to the, the campus. Ocean. Yeah, very close, very nice, enjoyable walk. How has going to HPU I need more to going. How has HPU changed your perspective on life. I think it's just opened I think, up, yeah. sorry, like so many new opportunities. And I also think like I've changed a lot as a person since I became, mm -hmm. since I came here. You learn a lot by moving and like living on your own fully. Um, also, like the people you meet, you start to like, not become them, but like. Get inspired by them. Yeah, and like you, you want to, I feel like I always want to be a better person since I came here. I feel like we've both like grown a lot. Mm -hmm. Especially since like last year. And just like the culture here and like how kind everyone is and just like how happy everyone is. Like no one worries about silly things. Like you just 
live your life and enjoy nature and like you're kind to everyone. Like it's just such a different atmosphere. It says, can you use your loans to pay rent for off-campus housing? And yes, it's like faster money and the school like gives it to you, but it's like not, like if the first year if you're in the dorms, like they'll take the money, but you can request to get it sent to you and you'll get the money and you can help it go towards your rent. That's what a lot of people do. Are there any good views? The dorms are right on the water, so yes. And are there good gyms? The school has a very nice gym. Well, it's small, but freshman dorm essentials. You need a blender. What? Yes. Yeah. A toaster oven. Wait. But you can't have those yet. <laughs> no, absolutely no toaster ovens. <laughs> if you get a toaster oven, you didn't hear it from us. But <laughs> our names are not. Um storage, like plastic bins to like put your stuff in for extra storage, comfy pillows and blankets for your bed. Um, one of those like closet organizer things. Yeah, super that nice. helps. Like I might like a little yeah. bit below. Like a shelf for the bathroom if you need like extra space yeah. and stuff, or like a towel organizer. And then, yeah, I mean, that's really all we had, I feel like. I don't really know of any like essential water bottle. Yeah, <laughs> you need so a water bottle. Thirsty. A Brita filter, because you don't want to drink yeah. the water from the sink. Yeah. And yeah, laundry basket. You oh yeah, get one there. that you can like carry on your back, I would suggest, mm -hmm. cause it, it sucks to carry it. Is the food good? So, we answered this last year, and there was like, yeah. we to talk about it for like 10 minutes, okay. I eat vegan and gluten free, and she now more recently eats vegan, but eating at- Hey, since August. But yeah, it's like six months. Yeah, no, I actually kind of enjoy it, okay. But eating at Pier 9, which is the school's cafeteria, if you're a vegan and gluten free, it's extremely hard. So what I basically eat was like whatever vegetable they had that day, if it didn't have butter on it. And sometimes I wouldn't even ask, so probably accidentally ate butter a lot of times. But I would eat like whatever vegetable they had, if I felt like having vegetables. And then like french fries. Yeah, you like never or like, like, ate there. You right. always had to cook stuff. Yeah, like, like I always just made my own dinner because I really could not eat there. So the, the french fries are good, but like <laughs> the rest of good. it, I don't know. I think they've improved this year, like I've heard that they have like a smoothie station now, which seems like really cool. Yeah, and they have like avocado toast in the morning, what? I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it, it definitely improved this year from last year, but I've been there to experience it, so I don't know how it is, but I've heard that it is improved. It's very worth it, the expenses here. And they seem bad, and sometimes it like sucks, like buying milk, oat milk that's $5. Yeah. Like there's just certain things, or like buying a candy. Go to Walmart or, though. Go to Walmart or Target's pretty cheap mm -hmm. too. Um, or Costco and buying things mm -hmm. in bulk helps. Um, also, ship a lot of stuff. To, like, if your parents can ship you stuff, I just shot salt at you. <laughs> um, then, like, shipping you, like, stuff that's just like way too expensive yeah. to buy here. Like, and sometimes it does get annoying. You're like, I'm paying six extra dollars for this. Not yeah. actually six, but like a lot. But it's worth it for where you live. Okay, two more questions. Was it hard to make friends? Is it easy to, f is it, wait, what? Okay, it says, was it hard to make friends and does it feel like there's groups that are clicky? I feel like once you first move there, it f could feel like there's a lot of like clicky groups just because yeah. people tend to stick with their roommates. And like, all, you do things with your roommates, but then like. Yeah, we got called really clicky. <laughs> but like no one's trying to be, but it's like hard. Yeah, just because like, it those are so the small. first people you meet and yeah. because like, yeah, it is so and like, you just see, yeah. like the same four people together, or the same six mm -hmm. people together, or the same two people together. But, but then like, I feel no like no one's trying to be clicky and mm -hmm. just go and talk to people. Yeah, like everyone's friendly, so yeah. you just have to like integrate into because we need out really good people. friends that weren't in our room. However, all of our friends were in the same hallway. <laughs> but yes, it's it does seem a little clicky, but like just grow up. Don't like not saying you grow up, but like then everyone's kind of like Wait, there's nothing, no nothing's even happening. I don't think what I'm saying is making sense. <laughs> And then, is it easy to get around the island if you're coming without a car? No. Well, bring a car. No. If you're living on campus, it's easy because you can take the bus. There's cars you can rent. It's called Huey. You rent it like per hour. So we used to do that a lot freshman Why year. Why is it so focused on the face? staying on you. There's Hueys, bikes you can rent. There's the bus, and you can walk to like places or like you can close buy a moped. by. That's true. Yeah, or buy a moped. A lot of people do that freshman year. But if you're not living on campus, it's very hard to get around without a car. Yes, so. Yeah. So get a friend that has a car. Yeah.
But I think that's it for all the questions. I hope we were able to answer everything that you guys asked. If you have any other questions, leave them down below and I'll be happy to answer them for you. But yeah, hope this guys, hope this video helped and hope we get to see all of you here next year. And leave other video suggestions you want. Yes, exactly. So have a great day. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys next time.